Hi guys, in this video I'm going to make some good old homemade guacamole. And what I've done is, uh, I've, I've saved you guys watching me do all the dicing and slicing. I'll just explain what I've got here. I've got one shallot that I've sliced. I've got a little bit of cilantro. I don't like a whole lot in mine. And i got a real tiny, I've, I've maybe a quarter of a jalapeno I've diced up into tiny little spots here. I've also got a lime, half a lime from the last thing I did. And I've got a Roma tomato. Looks a little rough on one side, but it's, it's good and firm. And I've got three avocados. And the best way to check an avocado for ripeness is when you press it, it should have a little bit of give. Now these kind of have a lot of give because I was going to do this yesterday or the day before and uh, something happened and I wasn't able to. So you want your uh, avocados really ripe and hopefully these are going to be okay. And you just drop a knife in them and just kind of circle around the knife like so. And give it a twist. Yeah, you can see this one's this one's really gone a little over where I wanted it to be. So Anyway, let me find a spoon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoon the avocado out about like so. Just go in here like that. Now there's two ways to remove the seed on an avocado. Uh, the less dangerous is to use a spoon. The more dangerous is to do like this. Drop it like so. And then you got a really slippery seat, so you just got to be kind of careful with getting that off there. But anyway, we'll go ahead and spoon this other portion out. And this is one I'm going to have to eat pretty quickly because it really did overripe. So, when you, when you get them at the store, you want them to have just a little bit of give when you press your fingers on them, but not a whole lot. These have a whole lot. This is a lot better right here, but there's really nothing wrong if they're overripe unless they're just really bad overripe. So anyway, we'll just keep on spooning these in to our bowl here. Like so. And we'll just finally get down to our last one here. We probably have enough right there, but you know, just for kicks. Uh, this one this one might be a little bit beyond repair. Let's see what we got here. No, it's actually good. It's actually better than the first one. So, continuing on with our... Now, if you want to remove the pit with a spoon, you can do that. That's a little less dangerous, but you lose a little bit on the, on the pit because it'll stick to it. If you got time, go ahead and put that together like so. Now, with your avocados in there, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a little lemon or, or lime on the avocados right now. This will keep them from turning any further brown than they already are. So I've got like a half a lime right there. And I'm just going to go at them with a potato masher. Get them not, not turned into like avocado butter or anything, but you know, just break them up into nice little chunks or whatever. I like to add the lime first, some people add it later, and I've got a little more lime I can also add to that as well. So remembering that I my first avocado had a little bit of brown on it, so I've got a little bit of brown going on here. So anyway, that's what you do on that. You just go ahead and get that all incorporated and mixed up like so. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in with my shallot like this. Just drop it on in there. I've got a whole shallot here. You can use that or not use it if you, you know, depending upon your taste preference, will kind of decide how much of each ingredient you want to use. And I'm also going to, like I said, really kind of sparingly with my pepper because I'm not real, I'm not a real big pepper fan. So, after that, I'll go ahead and squeeze the rest of my lime on there, like so. And then I'll hit it with a little bit of salt. Now the easy way to do this, if you don't like adding all these other ingredients, is just the avocado and salt and call it a day. And that's what a lot of people do. So nice little thing of salt right there. Let me go for my tomato. And on your tomato, so you don't have it too watery, you just want to go ahead and get all your uh, seeds and, and the center out of your tomato like so. 
which I'm doing right here and here. And now can you imagine how long this video would have been if I'd have done each and every vegetable this way? Anyway, then you just go ahead and dice up your tomatoes you normally would, and it's tiny little dices or chunks, whatever size you really like. The nice thing about this is it, it can go together fairly quickly, like you know, you're talking five, ten minutes, if that. Not a whole lot of dirtying up of things and prep time. It just makes it really easy. It goes good with chips. You can put it on, uh, you know, any Mexican food, tacos, whatever. And there we go. We just put that in like so, and then we're just going to toss this in lightly. So it's completely incorporated. And you can do this without tomato or with tomato or whatever. Now, I want to keep this video kind of short, so I'm not going to do a whole plating or anything like that. But let's go ahead and at this point you want to get a taste. And then you can adjust your seasonings, your salt or whatever accordingly. I think it's perfect. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you try this. If you do, please let me know how it turned out. Comment, rate, subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Thumbs up are great. I love them. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in another video.